So one of the biggest ways to be able to tell an ash tree from others uh, is basically in the bark pattern on the trunk. Uh, the, most of the green ash and black ash will have this very distinctive diamond pattern to the trunk, uh, kind of the, the striations on the bark. And the way ash trees leaf out, they actually have uh, multiple uh, leaflets on a single leaf. Uh, pretty much the only thing similar would be like a box elder. In the city of Bloomington, there are more than 400,000 trees of 85 different species. About 15% of those trees are ash and are greatly at risk thanks to the non-native insect, emerald ash borer, or EAB. When the emerald ash borer uh, feeds on the leaves and then reproduces, it lays its eggs into the branch structures. And as those eggs hatch and they start to tunnel around in the branches, it actually ends up cutting off the tree's uh, water transport and kind of everything else that goes on under there. And while EAB has not been detected in Bloomington to date, city public works crews aren't taking any chances. Bloomington has a very large population of ash trees, boulevards and parks. Um, a lot of what we're doing right now is basically to try to go through um, inventory, everything that we have in park property. We did that actually a couple years back. Uh, now we're doing a little more uh, involved boulevard inventory. And basically what we're going to do is, is go through and cut down on some of the numbers of ash trees. Uh, sometimes it's the, the ones that are in a poor place, maybe they have broken branches or already seem to be declining for other natural reasons. So that's kind of the low hanging fruit to, uh, to try to get our number of ash trees at a more manageable level. The marked trees will be removed in the fall and winter months as a precaution because that is when the insect is not active. In all the parks, we're, we're basically looking to replace with non-ash species. So as we remove trees out of the parks, uh, sometimes due to location factors and stuff that maybe we won't replace it back in the same location, uh, but we're basically looking to keep the numbers about equal. The ash inventory only is taken in public domains throughout the city. If you're a homeowner with an ash tree on your property, visit the city's website to find out more information on the spread of EAB and signs of a distressed ash tree.